Just a day after, TMC General Secretary National Abhishek Banerjee slammed the Congress for failing to stitch an NTBJP alliance for the sake of Goans. Today, AITC National Vice President Pawan Varma went on record to expose how senior Congress leaders and Goa in charge P. Chitambaram had lied about not being given a concrete proposal for an alliance in Goa. Pawan Varma said, I had gone to meet Chitambaram in his house in Delhi on 24th of December at 1.30 in the afternoon. I went with the proposal that given the situation in Goa and with the focus of removing the diverse BJP from the state, we must unite. I sat with him for more than an hour with a concrete plan, but he failed to respond. Both Chitambaram and Mr. Rahul Gandhi failed to rise above the narrow politics and vision even for the sake of Goans. Chidambaram Saab has no comment to make when faced with the truth that the Congress party did not respond to a concrete proposal to unify and strengthen the opposition. Not only in Goa but beyond. The TMC stands for the unity and strengthening of opposition forces not only in Goa but beyond. We gave a proposal. The Congress never responded. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, in her reply to Mukta Banerjee, because the two communicated, said, I have to consult my senior leadership. They waited. She did not respond. After Manohar Parikh, the BJP is leaderless, rudderless, and unable to rise to the expectations of the people of Goa. It is somehow trying to cling to power. TMC was the only party that sought to forge constructive opposition unity in order to defeat a corrupt and inefficient government of the BJP. We took the lead. We put the proposal. We waited for a response, which the Congress has not responded to. This needs to be known that the unifier and strengthener of the opposition was Mamta Banerjee and the TMC. It's not only important for Goa. Story by William Rodriguez for Herald TV.